Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kids Design Team Layout. I adore this month's kid. I love all the florals. I love the colours. I am just, ah, yes, love it. And a while ago, I stumbled across a beautiful layout by a stunning designer called Mandy Melville. And as soon as I saw this collection and the photos that I was specifically working with, uh, I just knew that that style of layout that she had created was just going to work so beautifully for this particular um, kit and this particular layout as well. So thank you, Mandy, for sharing that layout and letting us use it to inspire us as well. I love that about scrapbooking. And I love the way this this particular layout that I have made has come together. Now, this was the um, washi that I received in the kit. It was a yellow washi and it's kind of got gold, almost like fans on it. Think 19, 1940s um, art deco sort of pattern on it but I didn't want it to be see-through. So I've layered it up three times. I absolutely could have stuck it on a white sheet of paper and then cut it out myself, but I felt this was the lazy man's version of doing that. Uh, I, yeah, I just didn't want the yellow to be see-through. Then I'm popping up my photo on thickers. I actually like these thickers and I'm not completely using them up, but I'm kind of using the letters I don't reach for all that often. We'll see if it backfires on me later, but I literally have about three packets of those exact thickers. Um, so, you know, I'm just working with it. We'll see what happens. I have a lot of thickers in my stash and I prefer to work um, as dimensionals, the ones that are foam than the ones that are chipboard, but you know, they all work. Saves me money from buying um, foam, actual foam dimension. So we'll see where we go. So now I am layering up some all of the florals and popping on the title relax because we're having a bit of a relaxing day. Um, and then I'm also going to add a little mini title that explains a little bit more about where we are. We're at the Pauling Brothers or Palling Brothers, Pauling Brothers um, Brewery in... Where are we? Nah, it's popped out of my brain. Somewhere not far from Bendigo. Where are we? Nah, it'll come to me later. But that's where we are. Matt, we were on holiday in Bendigo and Matt had really wanted to um, go to a brewery or go somewhere, even a winery. He, he wasn't super fussy um, in that respect. He just wanted to go somewhere, but he really wanted it to cater for the kids as well. Uh, and that was really, really hard to find in the Bendigo area um, without traveling really far. We didn't want to drive all the way to Echuca or anything like that because the kids would have got bored quite quickly. It's about, what, an hour, hour and a half drive, and we didn't want to do that. Um, but the Pauling Brothers Brewery had a little, a little playground outside, and they were also had a great kids menu and they were just lovely. We didn't know that before we got there, but they were just lovely. So it was definitely worth it. Um, pity it was a stinker of a day. The day we went, it was like 36 degrees, 37 degrees, maybe even 39 degrees. I don't know, but it was a stinker of a day. So the kids didn't even want to play on the little playground outside. Um, we just sat inside and you know, they just sort of ran around, but it wasn't super busy. So the guys at the brewery didn't mind them and they were answering their questions. And yeah, it was just a really nice day. That's why it said relax. I'm not a beer drinker in any way, shape or form, but we had a taste of a couple. And this one was, I think, called a fruit tingle. It's definitely a beer, but as you can tell from the name fruit tingle, it's on the sweeter side. So I I personally wouldn't need more than one of these. Beer is not my flavor of choice, but it was a lot less, um, definitely no, like not malty, but it was even just a lot less of the hops and everything like that. It was just a much smoother beer to drink. Definitely a craft beer. So after I have built up that little floral layers and 
um, dimensions on top to make the little florals pop out. I am then just putting some of the stickers in and under. I kind of went with like the fruit stickers that I thought would be a little bit more difficult to use in another place. And because I am drinking a fruit tangle, I can kind of work with that in my journaling as well. And it was just a nice way to put those a little bit more difficult um, stickers onto a page. I was originally going to cut that washi. That's why I had the scissors in my hand, but realized I could just fold it over and that would work perfectly. Um, popping on some gold splatters because you know I always need my gold splatters. I'm going to have to get a new one, Steph. I am almost out. Um... Then I think I decided at the last minute, oh no, I didn't. Yes, popping that on. Oh, I didn't mention earlier. So I distressed the circle and I also put some running stitch around the circle um, just to create the layout, give it a little bit more texture and a little bit more pop. And I really tried to layer up the extra florals and like the bees and the ladybugs and stuff. So I'm really happy with the way this one came together. I hope that you like it too. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.